This is the Amplitube X-Space Reverb pedal by IK Multimedia. You've got 16 different reverb types from your classic things like hall, spring reverbs, plate reverbs, through to shimmer reverbs where you've got adjustable pitch control, right through to some stunning experimental and ambient reverbs. They've designed it in such a way that most of your common parameters you can just access right on the front panel. Perfect for gigs where you just want to reach down and change something, or if you're trying out some of these new and experimental kind of sounds, it's great to be able to just dive in there and try some different things. The knob on the left hand side here scrolls through the different reverb types and you can see those changing along the bottom of the screen there. And if you just want to scroll through the different presets, you can use the knob on the right hand side. And this also acts as your save button. To get into some other of the setup controls, you hold down the parameter control for a moment, and then you've got two different modes, either preset setup or the global setup. Most of what you're going to adjust is in the global setup. So I'd push that again. And there's a range of controls to do with the expression, switches, USB, MIDI setup, uh, interface, cab sim, spillover. There's a lot of stuff in there. Now that we've got some of that out of the way, let's have a bit of fun. <laughs> One of the things I really like is there's a huge pre-delay available on every single reverb type and you can use this for some really cool almost delay-like effects. <laughs> One of the very unique and fun features of all of the X series of pedals is what they call the X switch, which basically activates some kind of a hold or an additional crazy little function when you hold down that button on top of your effect. So I'll give you an idea of what that's like. And it's different for every type of reverb effect, but it gives you that freeze kind of thing and then you can play on top of that.
As well as being able to use this switch as the X effect where you get that sort of hold sound, you can also do a momentary effect. So if there's nothing on it, I just hold the switch down, it'll just have that reverb on effect while I'm holding the switch and then immediately off. The other cool thing you could do with that particular feature is even if one of those effects is already on, you could then do a momentary effect of one of the other patches. So. And then it goes immediately back to the one that you had on. You could also use that algorithm to get a slapback delay type sound. One thing I found is that even the more out there experimental kind of effects are still really musical. Um, they're not just something that you kind of have a listen to and go, well, it's crazy, but I'm never going to use it. So for example, I'm on the magnetic algorithm here. And if you had to listen to just the reverb on its own, it would sound like this. You might sort of think, well, that's interesting, but what am I gonna do with that? But as soon as you just hold those chords, it becomes this really kind of cool pad happening underneath and actually doesn't sound anywhere near as crazy as you might think. Just when you thought it couldn't be any more fun, you just plug in an expression pedal and you can control basically any parameter in any of the effects. So let's check out this preset called Dizzy. It's got a lot of modulation on it. So why don't we set up the expression pedal to start with the modulation quite low and then bring in more mix of that. And we'll also have the mix a little bit lower, bring that up and maybe change the time. And then I'll show you this crazy little pre-delay effect as well. To use the expression pedal, the first thing you do is hold down the parameter control and go into preset setup. And you just turn it on first of all. So learn A is basically set the parameters where you want them when you've got the expression pedal in its lowest position. Let's say we'll have the mix down a little bit. We'll have the modulation really low. And the time, let's bring it down low as well. And we'll change the color as well just so you get an idea. So you're saying there's your starting position and then all you do is push the preset button over here and it stores that. Now learn B, where do you want it to go to? So we'll bring the mix up, modulation right up, time, and the color as well. And then push preset again and that's it, that's saved. I 
I mean, that's a pretty extreme example, just with doing a whole bunch of parameters. Realistically, you're probably only gonna change one, maybe two things at the same time. But the great thing is you can change as many parameters at the same time as you want. Go back to learn, and I'm just gonna set the pre-delay to be down really low, off. Now learn B, pre-delay cranked up. I don't think the cats like that sound, by the way, so just check your felines. There's a lot of fun you can have with that, as well as just being able to get even more functionality out of the pedal. So on top of all these amazing sounds, you also have your full MIDI implementation, so you can easily incorporate this into any kind of switching system. And it's also a USB audio interface, so you're gonna be able to use that with your favorite software. And this also comes with a full version of this effect, or this pedal, as a plugin within Amplitube and a free version of Amplitube to get you started as well. And there's also a librarian, so you can use your computer to be able to organize your patches. You can even set up your sounds within Amplitube and then load those back into the pedal, which is a really clever workflow.